Welcome back to Be Terrific's live continuing coverage of CE Week 2016. I am your host, Jason Aaron, as we enter our final hour of coverage here on day one from the Metropolitan Pavilion in New York City. Now, we've had some interesting products so far, Bluetooth speakers and headsets, a bug zapper, um, but now there's a stroller in our booth. Yes, yes there is. Jess, welcome to the show. Uncharted play, I got a pink volleyball, I got, <laughs> I don't know, I don't even know what's going on. Take it's us a through lot. it. What so, do you got? Well, talk to us about the company, first so of all. So tell me about the company. So the company is called Uncharted Play, um, and really we're on a mission to democratize energy access. We do that in two very simple ways, power and empower, right? We believe that energy and access to renewable energy is a human right, and we create products that give people what they need as human beings, the power that they need to move on with their days. Now the way we do this is where you see everything becoming so varied and so exciting if you ask me. So we create micro generators uh, that can actually be integrated into anything that moves, right? We're in the business of kinetic energy, uh, which is the energy of motion. So we have micro generators, which we call MORE. Uh, that's an acronym, it stands for Motion-Based Off-Grid Renewable Energy. We put these MORE solutions inside of everything from soccer balls like this that are designed for the developing world. They wow. don't deflate. They don't need to be inflated, water resistant. Comes with an awesome steam curriculum. You can play soccer and then when you're done, you can actually get light to read and do your homework at night. So the energy is coming from inside the ball. Coming from, well, the energy is being harnessed and stored inside of the ball. Uh, it's normal energy that's being generated in the motion of a normal soccer ball. As the ball is rolling, we have our technology inside of this ball is harnessing that energy and storing it inside the ball. And now we do the same thing for a stroller. So we can put this technology into everything from floor panels to even actually we're developing uh, products for wearables and different accessories. Um, but one of my favorites is the stroller uh, because you know you get you have kids, you have to push your kids around something you have to do. We're all about amplifying existing behavior and giving you more out of your daily motion, your daily life. And so with this, we've integrated our technology into the wheels of this stroller here. Certainly. And so as you're pushing the stroller, you can actually charge your phone at a faster rate than you could if you had it plugged into a wall. No We're talking way. about up to six watts. Um, normal wall charging is five watts. And so you see here, you can just, I'll try to tilt this for you guys. You see here, you can just plug it right in and it's charging and then you can just push. Wow. And live your life. Now, are these products available right now? So the way that we work is that we focus on building the core technology and then we partner with original equipment manufacturers who make everything from strollers to floor panels to whatnot to integrate our technology into their existing supply chains so they can release new products with this feature for their customers. So we're working right now with several really awesome partners um, to release these products over the next year and year and a half. You can, however, go on our website right now to get our flagship product, the socket, that's this soccer ball right here, as well as our energy generating jump rope, the Pulse. Uh, that's our education business where we're really trying to pull people into what's possible in terms of renewable energy and what's possible if you believe in the power of STEM and STEAM, regardless of what your background is, um, that's something that you can get right now. And then just come on, follow us on social media, and you'll find out what's going on in terms of more and all the new products we're going to be on. So definitely uh, go on, um, I think, More Tech Solutions, at More Tech Solutions, at Uplayco. And at More Tech Inside on Twitter. And what's the, what's the URL? That. What's the regular website URL? You, uh, if you go to www.u-play.co, u-play.co, go to our website and you'll learn everything about it. All right. Us. Now, first of all, we have to get one of these for our very own Andrea Fasano. She's a soccer yeah. player. I'm sure she'd love this. What does this cost? So this ball right now, you can get it from a range of anywhere from $99, or if you actually get the full educational kit, you get it for $199. And with that purchase, you're also sponsoring one child's access to our products in the developing world. Amazing. Now, obviously, you have the technology, you're developing it, you're dealing with these partners. I mean, this is a perfect use case, right? I'm already making the stroller. 
I, I already am walking. I'm creating yeah. this kinetic yeah. energy. Why waste it? Exactly. And the easiest use case is, well, let's put a phone charger on here. It's now, one of them, yes. with this soccer ball and with the jump rope, yeah. So we have this, which is this light. So yes, LED light. So yeah. you've integrated the light in here. What else can I put in this soccer ball? Where else can I? Sure. Where else can I harness the energy for? Can it go into the flux capacitor and generate 1.21 gigawatts of power? Tell me. So we've designed these specific products so they can be used for the number one issue in the developing world, which is access to clean, renewable lights. Um, we're talking about communities where when the sun goes down, that's the end of their day. Um, and if they want to do more, they're either using kerosene lamps, um, which are so horrible for the environment, so horrible for the person using them. In fact, living with a kerosene lamp, it's like smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. It's unbelievable. Um, and so the goal behind these was kind of keep it simple, stupid. They like to play. They need lights. Let's give them that. Now with the jump rope, we have done some applications where you can also power um, simple cell phones, Nokia cell phones and things like that after just jumping rope for 15, 20 minutes. Um, and so we've seen great applications there. But what's really exciting is that we're also developing really cool systems to think about how you can harness and aggregate this micro power that's being generated all around you. So whether it is from the soccer ball or the jump rope or from the stroller or from clothing or whatnot, what you get is this awesome opportunity to think about having a world where everything around you is a source of power. And with everything that's happening with wireless transmission of energy um, and new op opportunities in terms of storage, we have the opportunity to be at the cutting edge of a world where you can aggregate power from everything that's happening around you and get that power as you need it. So you're no longer thinking about energy access from the hoard and save mentality, you know, like let me make sure I can get as much as I can and then run off. But it's more about being on demand and, and continuous. And uh, that's what we want to do with our so technology. So is it safe to say that, that this is more of a proof of concept than you being a product company making soccer balls? That's a really good question. When we started out, so the company is about five years old now. And when we first started, God, I invented this ball when I was 19 years old. Amazing. And all I wanted to do was pass a class. I had no ideas of, I didn't want to build a company. I didn't want to do anything like that. Nine years later, the business is actually about a little over five years now. And this product was designed to be the spark, the thing that got people thinking about what was possible, not only in the short term in terms of renewable energy and specifically kinetic energy, but also from a long-term perspective in terms of how people thought about their role in building the world that we want when it comes to a sustainable planet and a sustainable earth. We wanted to make it fun and sexy and soccer is that. We wanted to make it something that people already do in their lives so you're not you know, forcing change. Um, and we wanted to teach them something without them really knowing that they were being taught something. And so in many ways, our flagship product is designed not only to be a source of power, but I would say a proof of concept on several levels, not just for the technology, but also for the idea of what it means to be an agent of change in terms of how you think about energy in your life and uh, how your life can be influenced by the energy you generate yourself. That's amazing. Jess, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Check it out. Uncharted play. I'm going to go play some soccer. We'll be right back from the Metropolitan Pavilion here at CE Week 2016. Stay tuned. Be terrific. <laughs>